that's why you need two phones. I also talk about that in a separate video. Why you need two phones for this rideshare business? You need two phones. Using one phone sometimes can be very, very detrimental, especially when you are using the boat apps. And of course, you're supposed to use the boat apps. Sometimes one app takes you away from some certain place, and sometimes one app takes you towards where you want to go. So it's just best you have more than one app. And if you want to uh, fully optimize both apps, it's very highly recommended that you use two phones for the business, one for each of the app. Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's happening, all the wonderful drivers out there, the fantastic passengers that ensure we keep going home with money? Salute you all. You guys are welcome to the Driver Premier channel. And in today's video, I want to talk about why I you know, majorly drive for both over Uber. You know, I'll be talking about some key functionalities in Bolt that makes it a top choice for me to drive with them as compared to Uber and probably InDriver too. And so guys, stay tuned in today's videos and you know, let's dive into today's video straight up without wasting time. <laughs> you know man, that's the only time I go find work. <laughs> they say by driving, no good pay. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a very long trip. All the way from Diamond Estate, Shongote Do, down to Diamond Estate, Igondo. Wow, what a coincidence. You gotta be tough to shine as bright as a diamond from the rough. Yeah, so guys, welcome to the channel. This is the Driver Preneur channel. I'm a Lagos State based full time ride share driver. I drive for the popular rideshare apps like Uber, Bolt in the city of Lagos for over two years now. So in this channel, I share my experience as a driver, you know, you know, really intend to help other drivers out there, you know, that intend to drive or drivers that, you know, just want some form of, you know, guidance. So I share this information here with the intention to help other drivers. And I also share content related to car maintenance. Of course, as a driver, my most valuable asset is my car. So when my car has any problem, and in the journey to try to fix it, I share that information here. I share a lot of things on this channel. Like um, I'm also seeking for financial freedom. So anytime I make gains in search of how to make money online, I also share that information here. So I'm very sure subscribing to this channel, we you know, you find it useful. Um, whichever way, either to get entertained or you know to to learn something. Because I share my experience generally, and the experience they say is the best teacher. <laughs> so if you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly hit that subscribe button. It's totally free to subscribe. It's totally free to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on bell notification icon. This way you get notified anytime I post new video. Um, yeah, so let's enter the video straight up. So I've shared information as that relates to this, but lately I've been seeing some other you know developments in the. Um, on the boat platform platform that made me makes me see that okay these guys are actually thinking um with the from the standpoint of a driver because of course there are some routes that you don't want to go on some certain time of the day you know and this is something i think uber is getting wrong because they don't they don't actually care they are they, they, they only want you to just fulfill these rides regardless of what surrounds each ride and how unique some rides to some certain part of lagos can be and how it can affect your you know productivity for that day so now i have noticed i noticed this thing i think around early this year sometimes i get a trip on boat and i see route compensation and i see route compensation and when i go to that place to pick up and i notice oh, okay this is why they actually put route compensation however it started very slow as in very um poor the first time i got the route compensation was the route compensation of 1.1 and if you really place 1.1 to that route that I drove through, it's not exactly what it. It's somewhere in Lekki. This um, I, I've forgotten. There's one new part of Lekki that has very horrible roads on the right side. Ah, where's that place? I can't really exactly remember that place. But it's just between Lekki Phase Two and Lekki Phase One. You know, corner corner like this, corner 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 corner. corner. Very bad. So I had a route compensation. So for for both to have include that in their you know their system means they know that you know picking up sometimes can be very you know um difficult and not pleasant for drivers you know especially when you have to go into some inner streets you know places that you know have very bad roads and that's why i i i advise every driver to use the application called ways because ways you can report such things you can report that there's bad road here and then this data can be used cumulative for decision making in this business 
But I'll talk about ways again in another video, although I did in the past, but I'll, I'll give you dedicated time to talk about how drivers can benefit using Waze as a navigation app and how they can help other drivers. I'll do a different video for that one. So um, I've also seen a route compensation on trips that are going to places like um, Ikurudu, axis like Badagri, and these are some um, black spots I've listed in the previous videos that you don't want to go to such places because getting out from such places can be very difficult, especially you have to deal with traffic, you know, coming out and then the low um, demand within that places on weekdays or mostly weekdays. And then if you even have to, you know, fulfill trips around that same vicinity, you know, picking up can be very difficult and dropping off can be very difficult because of the terrain, the bad roads and all. So boats are also included 1.1 compensation for such routes which makes a lot of sense well although sorry it didn't make a lot of sense it was it makes sense that at least they have say okay let us add something like a route compensation then lately i, I noticed the last one i get i think it was a 1.2 or 1.3 route compensation i was like wow these guys are you know going upward increasing the route compensation um for drivers so that's very thoughtful that's very thoughtful uh, but I believe they can do better, especially places like Ikurudu, like or sometimes maybe places like yeah, places like Ikurudu should have at least a route compensation of 1.5. Am I being greedy? Is 1.5 not fair? Stay tuned to the end of this video because on the end of this video I'll be giving some other general updates of what's happening in the rideshare industry. General updates because I don't want to be making individual video for every whichever updates you know comes up in the rideshare industry. So guys, just stay tuned to the end. It will be worth your time. So um, the second reason which I've talked about over and over and over again is control. You know, you can control the metrics in in boats more than you can control in Uber. Right now, my mind is even I'm having my my mind up here because um I've been canceling a lot of trips on Uber, and sometimes why do I cancel these trips? You pick the trip when you're. That's why you need two phones. I also talk about that in a separate video. Why you need two phones for this rideshare business? You need two phones using one phone sometimes can be very, very detrimental especially when you are using the boat apps and of course you're supposed to use the boat apps sometimes one app takes you away from some certain place and sometimes one app takes you towards where you want to go so it's just best you have more than one app and if you want to uh, fully optimize boat apps it's very highly recommended that you use two phones for the business one for each of the app you know and then the one you'll be using for both will be you can use it for other things because both has a future a feature i hope i'm pronouncing that right a feature that please uh, when you get a trip on boats it's please on oh, which minimize those maximize maximized like you see exactly the details of where you are going to pick up but uber does, but does not have that feature future feature <laughs> uber does not have that feature and it really affects sometimes you pick a trip then you see you're in this community where to get to the other side of the community is like almost a a four, five, six, let's say a six kilometer drive. I know how difficult it is to drive six kilometer in Lagos. So that's another reason why I just prefer to drive mostly with um, boats. Of course, the third reason why I prefer to drive with boats over Uber is I get to see where I go to before I pick the trip, before I accept the trip request, which is very key. You know, I've had times where I accepted trip requests on um, Uber and on getting to the pickup, the rider was going to Badagri on a Monday morning, you know, which is <laughs> not a very pleasant trip because the road to Badagri is very bad. You end up spending so much time on that axis and of course it's based on the kilometer of distance covered that you'll be paid. So regardless of the challenges you face, you still get the same payment. So that can really make mess your whole day and make you feel you know demoralized and even just want to quit for that day um yesterday i drove yesterday so i got a trip on uber i turned on uber and the trip took me to a part of lagos where i i wouldn't want to go on a weekday but because it was a sunday i went on that trip so i got to the um, to the destination very horrible road somewhere around the sherry or shoe very hard. But once I pick, one thing about Uber is that once I pick a trip on Uber and I see that it's somewhere I can get to make, to pick up that passenger, I will go. I, I always place their trips on priority because 
Uh, Uber can just deactivate you for counseling. The only time I cancel is when I know I cannot get to that. But once I pick a trip on Uber, I always fulfill that trip. But on both, if I pick a trip and I see that maybe I change my mind or something, I can you know use the metrics measure which one to cancel and which one not to cancel because both also do block right drivers. Uh, when I got to Sherry Oshun, I turned off Uber immediately because I know the terrain. I know Sherry Oshun terrain. You can be getting trips in Ijegun from where you are and then you have to drive all the way to Ijegun, you know, on Uber or you can be getting trips somewhere within inside Bokno. And trust me, you don't want to drive all that way inside Bokno to pick if to pick a trip. You know, it's I <laughs> well if you drive in Lagos and you know it's Sherry Oshun, it's Sherry Oshun, Fagbile Axis, Ijegun, all those axes, you can let us know how confirm what I'm saying about the terrain. It's quite a very, you know, not a very pleasant terrain to drive in. So I turned off quickly turned off Uber because if Uber gives me a trip in that place and I see the the movements of the map and I know it's somewhere very far maybe so you can even get the trip as far as white sand you know I wouldn't want to go on that trip and then it will affect my activity score on uber because I can't pick it and if I pick it if I cancel it's even worse so I quickly shot, turned down my turned off my uber and I turned on my by my boat app I got some couple of requests on boats and like I said earlier it was taking me inside those terrains, inside those parts. So I either I didn't pick or I would pick and cancel or I pick and ask the person that man if you can come out to the major road, fine. But if you don't, please cancel. So that was how I waited on boats because I noticed there was surge around on boats. So guess what? I got a 1.4 from along the expressway all the way to Elegushi Beach. Wow, that was a miracle trip. You know, so I could see where I was going to. I could see where I was going to because if I had seen that trip and the destination was somewhere with just a street name, I'm definitely sure it would be going inside somewhere inside Ijegun or somewhere inside Bokno. But I immediately I saw the lekki, I was so glad I picked the trip and I accepted the trip. So I knew where I was going to. You know, that eliminates the anxiety that comes with you not even knowing where to go to when you start the trip. Yeah, I think these are some of the few reasons why I, feel, I I mostly drive with boat lately, like major, I give my full time most to boat compared to Uber. Uber also has its own advantages, so I'll probably talk about that in another video. I'll talk about that in another video. And this is not a paid advert, this is not a paid or sponsored, sponsored video. I'm just saying this based on my personal experience with boat, driving with boat as compared to Uber. First hand experience from driving with both applications yes updates some updates on what's going on in the ride share industries uber has increased their 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 prices for the uber x and the uber xl their prices has changed this is the current price Although slightly, slightly lower than what, slightly higher than what Boat is currently charging, but there's a little difference there. So, but I don't know. Boat has not retaliated. <laughs> should I say retaliated? No, Boat has not reacted to their change in price by also adjusting their own prices. So, both prices remain the same. Second update is Uber has started requesting that driver pay negative balance. This wasn't the case before now. Before now, if you had negative balance, doesn't matter. They just keep giving you. Um, cash trip and car trips if you like have hundred thousand in your balance they don't ask for you to you know pay directly to their bank but right now uber is doing that this this is something that boots has been doing a long time ago they take you off cash trip immediately you hit the threshold and then place you on strictly on card but uber has been leaving their own open where drivers were not owing some drivers were owing about seventy something thousand hundred and something thousand they went Uber, changed their policy, and I asked them to clear it. They, it placed a lot of drivers in debt. <laughs> so now Uber is now requesting that drivers pay their negative balance, you know, following suit with, with both. <laughs> yeah, so guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys um, learned one or two things from today's video. At least you know some new new places in Lagos, um, Bokno, Abaronje, Ijegu, White Sand. 
you know, hope you learned something from today's video hope this video in a way help you make a decision um i always leave the link to sign up to drive in the description box and also in the in comments sometimes but always check the description box i leave it in some of my videos to sign up in both both uber and both platform so if you want to sign up to drive the link is right there to drive and remember to subscribe to the channel we'll like the video if you like the contents yeah subscribe like the video comment share your thoughts share your mind talk let's hear your voice in the comment section Let's hear your voice in the comment section. And thank you guys for the subscribers that have been on this channel. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you, you know, for accepting me the way I am. You know, despite, you know, most of my videos are unscripted. Sometimes it's just how the motivation comes. I just sit in my car and, you know, give this update and talk about these things. Uh, but all of us are striving for the same thing. We are striving for financial freedom. You know, so thank you guys for staying with me all this long through this journey. Thank you guys for being there, commenting, liking, subscribing, TikTok, everything. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of names. I know a lot of names, you know, but the plenty, plenty views of the opinion. Let us keep notes for ahead. So, thank you guys. So, it's from the driver pronounce to all you guys out there. I'm saying peace and stay safe. <laughs> you know, man, that's the only time I go find work. They say by driving, you not know, go pay. <laughs> oh, mama.